Okay, my name is Dennis James, and we're here at the Paint to Art Museum, and we're going to talk about my great grandfather, who was George Wharton James. And George, the picture up here, was a very busy man in his days. He came to the United States in 1881, I believe it was, to the city of Pasadena. Uh, he was a Methodist minister and a basket maker, as was his father. Uh, George was one of five brothers, the others having gone to New Zealand and Australia. George uh, proceeded to get uh, a divorce when he was in Pasadena, which being a minister was a no-no, so they kicked him out of the church. Uh, he went on to become what you might call a circuit rider or a circuit uh, minister. He wandered all over the, uh, the western United States. Uh, being a basket maker, he became an expert in Indian baskets and Indian blankets. Uh, he lived in the bottom of the uh, Grand Canyon for three years with the Havasupai Indians, lived with the Saboba Indians, the Navajos, the Cahuillas, became honorary members of all of those tribes. He wrote uh, oh gosh, hundreds of articles for uh, the uh, railroads of the, of the day. And he uh, wrote all kinds of things on Indian baskets and Indian blankets and the Colorado River. He wrote, he, he wrote a book, as you can see down here, through Ramona's country. Uh, that dealt with a, a star basket that he obtained uh, when he was uh, uh, through the area. Uh, that star basket was made uh, by an Indian who gave it away because the star represented her dead husband. He wrote the book. That, in turn, led into the Ramona pageant, which we now have to take. Ah, so he instigated that. And there's a photograph of that star basket here, Yes, isn't there is. It? Yes. It's over here on the other side of the room. Right, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Um, he, uh, among the things he did, he was a speaker at the uh, exposition in San Diego in, I think, 1912, whenever the exposition was, I'm not mm -hmm. sure the date. Mm -hmm. He was a speaker there for months. I see. Uh, people that he called friends was Teddy Roosevelt, uh, Burbank, Kellogg, John Muir, uh -huh. uh, all of those people, uh, and some people that he ran around with, dealt with John Lund uh, Jack London. Um, and you are his? I'm his great grandson. Okay, wonderful. Do you live locally? Yes, I live locally. I live, I live now in La Quinta. I've been here since 1974. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, I think one of the last things that George did was uh, he and several other people owned a little lumber company that purchased land in uh, probably what was Redlands then, uh -huh. which turned out to be Loma Linda. That's where they, they donated that land, and, mm -hmm. and it's now Loma Linda University and mm -hmm. Hospital. That's where it sits. Wonderful. Hey. I'm just going to pan around the room and show sure. some of the the photographs here at the La Quinta Museum. And uh, we're really happy that you're here for the opening reception to add glamour <laughs> to the evening. You might know. And, you're over here filming. <laughs> Come on over here, we'll look at the scarf. Okay, great. Yes, I know. Here's Ramona. Oh, yes, uh huh. And this is the basket that she made honoring her husband that she gave away that my great grandfather uh -huh. ended up with. She recognized, and that led to the book and to the Roman Palace. How interesting. Yes. Well, thank you very, very much. Oh, you're I appreciate it. You're welcome.